Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel. And yet another video about organization, although this one is very specific to writing. I've talked a little bit about how I try to keep as much as possible all in one place in my bullet journal. That way I'm not as, I'm trying to be less scattered all over the place by keeping everything I need for any particular day or week all in one place. But that stuff can pull from other places, like, for example, my Kanban board. If this works the way I'm hoping it will, then as I move things into the doing section, they move into the bullet journal to tell me, okay, this is what you need to be working on right now. Some stuff, though, doesn't fit in the bullet journal. It can't. It shouldn't. It would just be in the way, and I would go through a journal a month or something ridiculous. So that's why I have this Traveler's Notebook which yes, it's got a regular old elastic because the one that came with this, I managed to break. Probably because I stuffed so much inside of it. Just, just a possibility. So what all is in here? Let me go back to front, actually. I'm gonna start with my book Bible. So this is all of the information that I need related to my current book. Um, actually, the current series. Some of it is captured in in Scrivener, in the Scrivener file. But some things, I suppose I could find a way to make it work in there. But let me show you what I mean. Characters weekly schedule. Other characters weekly schedule. Why? So that I have some idea how often it is reasonable to expect that they have time to interact with each other. Not that I'm getting that specific about times necessarily in the text, but if somebody's stressing out over a chemistry exam, should that be that they're stressing out on Tuesday because the class is on Wednesday? Or, you know, what? And they're not going to have infinite amount of time together. They're not all majoring in the same things. So they're not all taking the same classes. So, yeah, this is also teaching me a lot about what the requirements are for other majors like OSE Geology that I know nothing about. <laughs> As I try to build schedules that make sense, again, so that I can set up specific times that the characters can interact with each other. They always meet for lunch on Thursday in between classes, or they always meet for dinner on Wednesday after lab or something. Or they have a club that meets at this particular time. Stuff like that. And that's much easier to do pen and paper, for me anyway, than it is to try to create that in a Scrivener file. I also used this for taking notes on uh, Emily Bourne's overview of the story circle method of outlining, which was a lifesaver in the middle of NaNoWriMo. Thank you very much. Once again, Emily, thank you. <laughs> so all my notes are in here and then the actual outlining that I did with that is also in here and I won't go into that specifically. But so that's, that's what this component of the Traveler's Notebook is. Of course, there's also all the ideas that come up that you don't have time to write right now. And that's what this insert is for. I just love irises. It's my favorite flower. So decided this would be the insert that I would use for that. Just any story ideas that come up that I don't have time to deal with right at the moment, this is where they go. The newest component of this setup is this Ignite Your Goals insert from Boho Berry. Um, I don't know if she has any of them left because they were specifically for January, but it, I'm finding it really helpful. It gives a great end of year sort of set of reflection prompts. You know, what were the top 10 things for the year? What was your biggest challenge? What felt successful? What was time well spent? Um, things like that, and then how can next year be even better? What do you actually want to accomplish? And what were the lessons learned? 
and then just a, a page for each goal so that you can summarize what do you want to do, why. The why is really important. Why do you want to do it? Is it actually something you want to do or is it something that everybody else is telling you you should do? Um, that's that's my big thing that I always have to double check on. What are the obstacles and how are you good to overcome them? So I really, really like this and I've used the um, 2019 reflection prompts already. I haven't filled in all of the goals yet. I'm still kind of working on that. Did I mention that January is always kind of a work in progress on the goal setting up until the latter part of the month? This, I think, will help keep me focused on those days when I'm just wondering why I'm even doing this. Why did I decide this was a thing I needed to add to my life? I'll have that all here. Mostly related to writing. And then this, which I've talked about before, and I will link somewhere, is my settings bank. It has not gotten anywhere near as much in it as I would like. In fact, I was planning to add to it over New Year's. We were supposed to go up to Maine for a couple of days, which is where my main character is from. And I was going to spend some time checking out different areas, doing some settings capturing. Um, let's see, how much settings work did I do in 2019 at all? My last entry in here, 11, 19, 2018. Yeah, I did no settings work in 2019. I really, really need to do more of this especially just especially for this book because setting is my weak point and that's the whole reason for wanting to have a settings bank have the practice of describing setting and um, hopefully have some actual words to draw on when I'm blanking out on what a particular scene needs to have to describe it so what do you do to organize all of your writing stuff? Do you keep it all electronically? Do you do some electronically, like in a Scrivener or a similar program, and some um, analog in notebooks like these? Or maybe not like these, but notebooks? Or do you have completely different systems entirely? Let me know. Um, I'd love to hear about it either in comments below or on Discord, which is also linked below. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.